day 23. Hump day! Good morning! It's day 23 on the Ireland Way! And you know why I'm saying that with such excitement? Because today is hump day! Yes, I'm halfway through my journey. I just got to do everything I've done all over again. <laughs> just in a different area. Um, really comfortable night below the satellite tower on the top of Mount Mary. And, uh, which is just south of Craig's. I have a little bit greater concern this morning is when I was getting dressed, I noticed a tick bite on my upper left inner thigh, very tender skin area. And I went, oh, you're a tick for sure. Last time I wasn't sure this time. So I used the tweezers. I did the twist and pull method. I put it in a little baggie where I keep my uh, nail clippers and so it'll sit in there. I know you're supposed to send it away for analysis, but I don't know how soon that has to happen. I don't know if they do that in Ireland. If it makes a difference that I'm not a resident, but I've kept it nonetheless. And I will go into a pharmacy in the next town and see what assistance they can provide. Coming into Craig's, there's the elementary school. It's just a tiny little village and I've noticed the pharmacies aren't open on Sundays, so I'll probably have to hold on to my little tick until tomorrow before I can ask somebody about it. Well, great idea. And right beside the soccer pitch in the school, so the kids don't have to keep running in at recess when they want water. However, it don't work. I don't know if I'm supposed to push something. I don't think so. I think you just place it there. <sighs> and it's not working. <laughs> These guys kill me. That's the first uh, thatched roofed house that I'm seeing on the Ireland Way. Everywhere else has had slate tiles. This is a real throwback. So I had to redress my heel. It was really stinging. I don't know how people hike with blisters all the time. My second challenge is, I really am running out of water. Um, I bought a drink in uh, Craig's, but it's super hot. I've knocked on one door to no avail, and it uh, just looks like nobody's home. <laughs> Where is everybody? Sunday afternoon out watching a match, see the different soccer team flags. Oh, I wonder if that means they have... Uh, family <laughs> rooting for opposing teams, or maybe one's local, one's regional. No idea, but so many houses have these. Oh, maybe someone's home there and I could get some water. Hallelujah, got the water. I won't die of dehydration. A lovely family helped me out, filled my water bottles. I talked to the kids, met the dog, and I'm on my way. little stop sign. The sign says currently closed and stop. This is private property and when the owner says stop, we stop and we take the reroute because we want to be good trail ambassadors and preserve the way for many years to come by uh, exercising cooperative behavior, right? Well, I think I've shot enough cows and sheep. Oh, don't go away. It's okay, don't be scared. Don't be scared. 
You're beautiful. So I stopped to talk to that horse and I noticed she was really dry around the mouth, like and kind of smacking her lips. And uh, I looked and said, you know, where's your water? I couldn't see any water source, like no river, no stream, no pond. Um, there was a bale of hay tied to the gate and then a big bucket beside it. So I said, oh, oh, your bucket's empty. You're out of water. It's too hot a day to be out of water. Here, I'll share some of mine. So I took one of my leaders and I dumped half of it into her bucket. And I said, there now, there's some water. And I put it away and I walked away, giving her space. So she turned, she comes towards the bucket, puts her head in, looks at me, turns away again. I go back and I look at the bucket and I'm like, aren't you thirsty? The bucket's empty. There was a hole in the bucket. Oh, are you kidding? I just threw away half a liter. Not for me, not for her. Now we both don't have it. But I do still have yeah, about a liter and a half left and a bit less left. So and I hopefully will get some more in Glinsk because I want to start the night with two liters. Seriously? Jeepers creepers. No wonder I missed it. Well, it was a jungle getting up, but easy to get over. And it looks like the sheep have manicured this side. They must have spent a good part of the afternoon here. Deer number eight just darted into the bushes. Deer eight, fox three. Oh, wow, am I ever slow now? It's about a quarter to six, and I've been on, whoa, Ooh. little cracker sound there, one broken board. Um, I've been on the way for nine hours. Well, this is the first time coming to the end of the day. And I won't have either made or exceeded my goal. The heat has just drained me and my heel is very sore. And uh, I think I have to admit it's time to stop. <laughs> yeah, where? This is like a little one horse village. Well, if they've got a soccer pitch, I'm an expert at that. So we'll see what I can find. It's a beautiful day 24 morning in Glinsk. It's about 8.30 in the morning and everyone's rushing off to do what they need to do. I hope you can hear me over the traffic. <laughs> I can't believe these places. I mean, do they all sleep in? Like, I camp usually beside a school. And that's what I did last night in the park beside the school. And I think, oh, I better get out of here because, you know, teachers are going to start coming. 7.30, between 7.30 and 8. No, no, no. <laughs> Barely at 9, the teachers and the kids seem to arrive all together. And uh, these towns are so sleepy. No matter what time of the day I go through them, they seem, I don't know, everybody seems to be inside. Like, they're all soccer mad up here. No more hurling. Interesting. In the more southern towns, I was seeing every kid had a hurling stick and the flags out front of their houses were hurling teams. Now it's all soccer teams. We're in County Galway, so that's the big soccer team here. It's a beautiful, about 16 degrees right now. As long as it stays under 20, I'm totally comfortable. Hmm, okay.
Scanning, scanning, scanning for bull presence. Scan complete. No bulls present. You may proceed. Yep, the legs are up because the weeds are up. <laughs> Outside of Glint's, you cross some pastures. Great, no problem, no bull. But then you have to go down an overgrown grass track. And when I say overgrown, I mean like up to your hips, your waist in some places. And, uh, you know, somebody just needs to get in there with the old weed whacker and uh, a branch trimmer of some kind and uh, clear that up. Hmm. That way or that way? And no little yellow man to tell me. Time to check the map. Yep, it was the less traveled way. You are now leaving County Galway. Faltigo County Roscommon. Welcome to County Roscommon. Crossing boglands once again. Too bad I don't need any turf. It's abundant around here. Although it is highly regulated and illegal to just take turf from the boglands. One must have a license or a business to access. That's where I came from. On the bog. And he's foot in the bog. Flipping, stacking to dry it. Not easy work in this heat. Oh yeah, very best of luck to you on your holiday. Thank you very much. And good luck with your work there today. Thank you very much. Legs on, legs off. Legs on, legs off. Just even that job makes me pour sweat in this heat. Very little shade all day long. And when you're trying to push 30 kilometers, it uh, feels like 50. <laughs> Four point six K of road walking, mostly in the sun. This is how hot it is. This has happened to me a few times. I step in the tar sealant on the road and it sticks. So if anybody's tracking me, <laughs> my footprint has been immortalized on the roads of the Ireland Way. I wanted to get that 4.6K road stretch over with as it was so exposed to the sun with only the odd tree casting a shadow here and there. So I really pushed it. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think I pushed my inner thermometer I'm a little too hot right now. This is just partial shade. Someone's 
wall in front of their house. See? So if they come out their front driveway, or if somebody comes in, I'm like the greeting gargoyle. <laughs> this is Ballin Low. I think it may be a holiday Monday or something because the schools weren't in and the shops seem to be all closed. Although, again, I've come at the end of the day, 5 p.m. I just want to get something decent for dinner and then get a few more K in after this.